Yo, this is the time to play. It's called the Trigger. We are in a volcano! Yeah, the last major room in the prisoned vortex. Press the switch here and something will happen. What exactly happens? Remember all the lava? Yep, this lava here is gone. It also means other enemies pop up. So we have to beat him up. Flame strengthened. Sure. I want to strengthen you as well. How about a little airlift? Boop, 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 boom! Bam! Wow, 8,600 damage. It's so good. So good! It's very nice. Let's just keep going up here. And now you see back here again, things have changed a bit. The lava has now gone down. We can even go down this path. We can enter this little door here. I we have another one of those. Press this switch as well. Crater surveillance ladder. Press the switch. Of course, press the switch. I mean, come on. This is exactly what we want, right? Of course. Now that we've gotten that through, we can continue. So now we're just going to keep on going here. We're going to go around again. We have to go around this path again. Which means we have to face this mob of monsters again. With some rats, of course. Now that has been settled, we can keep on going. So why don't we do that? Of course we do. We want to face this one again. Boom. Now that I've been taken care of, we can go right into the big room. This room has also been changed a bit. See, some of the lava has gone down a bit here. They'll open up for another path that we want to take. So when you go around here, we have to beat the lava guys again, or maybe not. Nah, we don't need to. Take the ladder up. Oh, we can. Then we go up and up in high potion here. Go inside this room. And now we go into the final path of this place. Some fire enemies gonna fight first, of course. Let's take care of three of them. Oh well, those things were interesting. We move forward. And as we move to the end, you can see we have a teleportation pad there, but we have two of these first. Alright, so how do we take care of two of these? Well, remember that we have Isla and Chrono here. They can do a Falcon Strike. Let's do it right away. Of course, they'll do some damage first because that's what they want to do. Come on, Chrono, up we go and dance and fly. Pretty good damage. 3,400 damage each, but they're still alive though. Isla says, no, I'll screw you, I'm gonna kill you. And Robo says, I can do it too, let's kill him both. We get a speed of 4,600. They're very, very heavy. Let's see what doing this again. Just run out and in, and you can do some good XP grinds. And you can probably get your characters to, um, yeah, mid 60s. Um, mid 60s. That's probably a good level. Let's go in here. You know the deal, right? Yep. We are here again. We are in the last part of the last vortex. What can happen here? Again, come here and use a shelter. Here we go. And then we can continue. If you still want to go away, then feel free to do it. But I mean, yes, this vortex is still rather easy. I mean, I think the toughest part comes now, but getting through this vortex is pretty simple. Um, so feel free to go out if you want to, but I don't think it's needed. Instead, go forward, but this time you're in for a surprise because there's not as simple as the last two ones. There's something else going on. And we're gonna meet with someone you probably haven't thought we would meet again. But he's back. <laughs> Stay right where you are. Who is it? Who can it be? It's Dalton! Hello, Dalton! You are... Dalton! Dalton, not die! It's been quite some time, hasn't it? Did I startle you with my brilliant reappearance? Not even a little? Well, who asked you? If it weren't for you, I'd be been a ruler of an age all my own. You robbed me of everything I've worked so hard for. My wealth, my home, my loyal underlings. You took it all away. It's unforgivable. So come on. Have a taste of the suffering I endured because of you. 
And that's right, we're gonna fight Bolton for the last time. First, gonna give us a rather nice looking plasma. It's actually quite damaging. On Robo, of course. Because Robo has so bad magic defense. But of course, you wanna make sure Robo can fight this one out. So let's give him a high potion to max up his HP. And then we go with a beast toss on Dalton. Because that's what Dalton deserves. He deserves to go spinning up and up and we Boom. Look at that, people. We reached the damage cap. 9,999 freaking damage. How good is the Kryze's arm with the spectacles on and Isla just being so strong? That's exactly what it is. Of course, he can counter good as well. Let's try up a uh, Frenzy on Dalton. Oh, that hurts actually quite a lot. They almost hit for a thousand per hit. No, not again! Second wind. Sure. Maybe he has something else for us. But what if I just do another beast toss? That would be mean, right? But who asked him? I mean, he said this him. Who asked? I no one asked you to do this either. Up! And down you go. Quad nine. Dalton sore grapes. Ugh! Sour grapes. And this battle is pretty much easy one. I mean, it's a lot of help, but it's pretty simple bad battle. Huh. I think that's enough for today. But don't you dare think this is settled? Just you wait, Chrono. I'll raise the greatest army the world has ever seen in poor and use it to wipe your pitiful little kingdom of the map. <laughs> Isla, no loose. Farewell. Now, I might be wondering, he's going to raise the greatest army in po that poor has ever seen, and, and what does that mean? Well, this was a reference to Chrono Cross. Because there we have a special thing. In one of the cities you have in the game, it's actually being invaded by the poor army. So this is basically uh, Dalton saying that he's going to be the leader of the poor army, and they're basically following his orders in the year 1000, invading everything we know. Pretty much. Now, with Dalton taken care of, we can move on to the real deal. Yes, because Dalton wasn't real deal. Yes, it wasn't like, oh, Dalton is the present Vortex big boss. No. The big boss is coming right now, and I think you already know who it's going to be. We already have the fire for Luca. We had the water for Marl. Yes, you guessed it right. It is Chrono who will be the one fighting. Now, Chrono, his regular attacks is rather simple, not that damaging. But he has a replica of his Luminaire. That thing can one hit KO a Robo that has 999 health. That's right, it has actually damaging thing that can hit a party member for over a thousand. Guaranteed one hit KO. How to solve that? We'll give him a white plate. Because he wants to be absorbing all light damage possible. Creep doing the Master Crown sunglasses combination, you can do that if you want to. Kaiser's arm is still good. I mean, it's really up to you how I want to do it. But I want to tell you guys, show you guys one of the most overpowered, broken techniques to really beat this game very easily. It's simple. You switch out the Crisis Arm for the Apocalypse Arm. Apocalypse Arm, an arm engineer for sheer destructive force. It may deal 9,999 damage, which will deal every time it does critical hit. But it's just a problem. When whenever you don't do a critical hit, it basically does almost no damage. But that's why we have the Dragon Tear, which is the most broken accessory. It's even more broken than Prison Spectacles, because yes, Prison Spectacles increase your damage. But if we have something that can deal Master Critical Hit damage, and then you have something like that for 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 Robo, be prepared for uh, absolute funny things. Now, it doesn't really a lot of status things he can inflict on you, uh, Chronos, so you probably can, probably if you want to make sure, probably even give him Prismatic Helm. To just make sure that uh, Robo will be surviving any magical damage, or well, he might be, but just do that for for to be sure. White plate absorb, of course. 
Now, of course, everything that, that doesn't magical damage we will be fine. We already had auto barrier on on Isla, so that even though she doesn't have cat magic defense, she still had the barrier on to reduce magic damage by one third. And the Chrono already has cat magic defense, so he's all about dealing the damage. We we'll see if we can out damage Robo though. When you're ready, go forward, and we will be ready for the third and final vortex boss battle. What wrong, Chrono? Something is calling you? Yeah, so I just guessed, the present Vortex is all about Chrono. You must have Chrono on your team, but whoever you pick with Chrono is up to you. Now, of course, I will... I'm just gonna keep using this team, because now I can. But, um... We'll do some team changes in the next episode when we go for the big boss battle of Chrono Trigger. But I'm just gonna use this one, because the Beast Toss, if you can use it, use it. You saw how much damage we did to Dalton there. That was absurdly insane. But now, with this team, let's see what we can do against a dark version of Chrono. You know Chrono! Chrono no do like that! Never do! Identify analysis complete. This is a different Chrono from the one we know. Hostility detected. And that's right, here comes the dark Chrono. This one has some regular attacks which are really dangerous. But man, when he does the Luminaire, be ready to even not just heal, but to resurrect people, because some might die. It's so damn powerful. Alright. Also, one thing about Chrono, just like Luca and Marl, is that he has insane evasion. So, even if I do a um, Frenzy now, he might not even hit more than once or twice, maybe. Let's see. He hits, hits, hits. Okay, I guess we were lucky there. Of course, he'll always counter with some good physical damage. But nothing that is that super dangerous, deadly. When Robo and uh, Isla are available, use Beast Toss. Poor Chrono, he's being tossed away like this. Boom! 2,229. Not as high as I would thought, but I'm mean, not using the I'm using the Eclipse Arm now. You see, damage is just tearing up. But let's see if we can do some lucky strike though with uh, Robo. Comes Thunderfall, another powerful light attack. Let's check the damage. Yeah, not as bad. Marl, of course, Isla took some most damage here, even though she has Barrier on. So you might be careful. You want to give, make sure Isla should stay above 700 health at least. Look at that, though. Do you see that? Yeah. Dragon Tear, Apocalypse Arm. Game becomes <laughs> very easy. But this is also just about to show off. Uh... Here we have to use a high potion on, on Isla, because Isla, we don't want her to go too low, because if he uses his um, special move, the Luminaire version move, it's going to be really damaging. Miss, miss, hit, hit. Okay, that's good. But a rend. I want to see him use the his special move. Here he comes! Here he comes! Scintillation! His Luminaire move, look at the damage he's gonna deal now, look at the damage! Yeah. 600 damage on Isla, with Barrier on, and almost Cat Magic defense. I actually did a test battle with him before I recorded this episode. Robot, without the White Plate, took 1300 damage. One hit KO. Poor, poor Robo. That's why White Plate is almost required for Robo in this battle. Oh, he will just... You just have to resurrect him. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, let's just do a Beast Toss. Uh, I don't want to do a couple of strike again, because it just makes it a bit too easy. Beast Toss. Not as damaging now, because he doesn't have a um, Crisis Arm anymore. That's basically the key to victory here. Uh, crisis Arm just makes it so good with the Isla. Of course, you can give Isla a spectacle as well, and Beast Toss will become super powerful. But it's fine, though. Let's do another Frenzy. We probably have to heal soon because both Chrono and Isla are a bit low health. And of course Robo will just stay up high health because... Yeah. Doesn't really matter though. We beat him. And the battle is a bit easy because of the Apocalypse Dragon Tear combination is just so good. The Dark Chrono goes to our Chrono. And that means Chrono gets a stat boost. Chrono's latent powers awakened. Speed, strength and accuracy improved. 
And that is the final vortex. Now again, Steel Shade is such a pain to fight. It's not that hard actually. It's just more about having to survive that same affiliation. If you can do that, this one isn't that hard. If you cannot survive it, then you probably know what you have to work on. You need to get that magic defense pumped up. If you don't have white plate, bring characters that have high magic defense, such as Marl and Magus and Luca. Do very well, or even the Chrono, of course, for damage. But Magus, for example, he's he's the best magic tank in my opinion. So he'll do well there. Now, next episode, guys, is coming soon. We're gonna do a season finale. We're gonna fight the most powerful boss in this game. So now let's use up some capsules. Let's just do a uh, reorganizing of my list. We have a lot of strength capsules, we have magic capsules, speed capsules, and so on to use. But first I'm going to use a shelter, just to get everyone's uh, HP up. There we go. But I'm going to do a little change of party. So for this next battle, we need to have a very solid party. I would still recommend using Chrono here, because his damaging doing is really great. But you also need someone that can be a very good um, support as well. Uh, Marl is a great support because uh, she can deal some good damage with her uh, Venus bow, 777. Not that super amazing, but at least she can be sustainable. And also Marl is a um, great support. She heals a lot and has the Arise, which basically fully recovers someone who has been taken down. Uh, Isla's not that good anymore because the next boss we're gonna fight doesn't have the ability to use Beast Taz on, and that's when Isla's power gun goes down. So uh, we can probably use this team. Magus as well is super good because of his uh, new um, weapon, the Dream Reaper. Four times damage for critical hits. And the problem is that I want to keep using the Apocalypse on Dragon Tear as a last resort because, as you can see, with this one we have such a high chance to take out so much damage from this next uh, next boss, so I just want to have that as a last resort for sure. Aside from that, make sure he has high magic defense because he will be taking a lot of damage. White plate is great because the next boss has some really high single target light damage. We don't want that to take away a Robo, so Robo has to survive. I think this is going to be my team. Chrono, Marl and Robo. Also the reason I'm using Robo is because Robo can deal some good damage and he can heal well. As well, that he can deal some great damage because I'm gonna keep doing this uh, combination and make him become very powerful. Mulligan for support, but also with the Venus Bow, she can deal 7 good sustained damage. And Chrono is all about the damage. Some people even consider that if you level up quite a bit, you can even have sort of a um, solo try attempt on this boss where you can use. Um, use on the, let's say, Marl against the next boss, but uh, that's up to you. Alright, let's use some capsules. Let's use strength capsule on um, Marl. I don't know, actually, that's, that should that wasn't good because Marl doesn't gain anything from strength. Magic capsule we can use though. We can use it on Marl, because Marl, another one has the use of the magic. Let's put it to 75. Speed capsule. We need to use it on Rubble for sure. Rubble needs some speed. He's so slow. Let's put it to 15. On tomorrow to 15. And yeah, 16. There we go. We kept the speed for both. We ran out of speed capsules, but you can get more in the game through some shady technique. You, you kind of know, I guess, already. Use the last magic capsules as well on Marl. Make her really good. Not only for strength capsules, because everyone is capped, or we can use it on Marl, but Marl's Venus Bow doesn't care about strength or the defenses of the opponent. It's just going to deal ma massive damage. Alright, that'll be it for this episode, guys. Next episode, we're going to go for the season finale of Chrono Trigger against the most powerful boss and entity of this game. If you can beat this, you can clearly say you have done it all in Chrono Trigger. Even though it gives you some cool rewards for doing it as well. What will it be? We'll find out. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook. And that's going to be it for now. So I'll see you guys next time as my story of Chrono Trigger continues.
for one episode more. The season finale is next.